welcome to part two guys so the last rule that we had created was menu ul ul uh, the position was set to absolute and the visibility had been set to a hidden let me get on with the next rule guys so uh, let me make sure that the cursor is uh, now in line number 15 where we have the first li tag let me click on the plus button guys automatically flash uh, chooses the contextual selector to be a compound and the target element is menu ul li I'm gonna make a change out here I'm gonna say colon hover and then I'm gonna say ul so basically what this means is when somebody hovers over the li which is home as you can see out here when somebody uh, you know goes over that when somebody hovers over that then ul should be affected in the way that will be defined in the rule that is about to follow okay so when somebody hovers over the li which is in the ul which is inside the menu then affect the ul in a manner that is about to be defined in the rule cool let me sort of say okay and let me then say um, visibility visible which means basically what i had hidden earlier i'm getting it back that'll create the drop down amazing right let me say okay and uh, i'm in the live view guys let me test it out so you can actually notice the moment i hover over home uh, this is uh, exactly what is happening that's that's lovely that's great okay then guys let me <coughs> make sure that the cursor is blinking in line number 15 where we have the opening li tag let me click on the plus button and the next rule that i'm going to create now is pound sign menu ul li hover okay so basically when the user <coughs> hovers over any of the li elements it's a compound rule guys have a look out here being saved in the external my menu dot css dot css file i'm going to say okay I'm going to say, in which case, if that is happening, <coughs> please change the background color to uh, a pound sign triple three, tri uh, triple three. Basically, even if you say triple three or you say triple three, triple three, it's just one and the same thing. Even if I were to say this, it just means the same thing. Okay, let's see how this actually affects things. So, notice out here, whether I, I hover over home or whether I hover over the links, it's one and the same thing guys one and the same thing looks cool pretty cool <coughs> but there's a problem out here uh, this border which separates link one with the other link one is is a little thick compared to home and link one isn't it guys so I can actually uh, change that very easily if I were to go to the rule which is menu ul ul which has been set to absolute if i were to double click out here go to the positioning category and make sure that i choose the placement of the absolute element the ul nested ul element to be a 31 from the top and let me say, then say okay and have a look out here guys now things are symmetrical just you know all the borders are having the same thickness okay so so that was done very easily not a problem at all all right so it's getting better and better guys so next one i'm going to do is next guys i'll be clicking in line number 17 where we have this anchor tag okay inside the nested ul tag let me click on the plus button the new rule will be targeting anchor within li within ul within li within ul within menu a big rule and then let me just add colon hover it's a pseudo element now guys and pseudo selector compound contextual selector rules will be getting saved in my menu css.css which is fine let me say okay and then uh, i'm gonna say in which case let the background image be uh, the background color be let's say this color right <coughs> uh, let me say okay and let's see how it actually affects things so let me hover over home 
uh, and then over the links down below our chair in fact let me come to the, the live view let me go in, a, in again and now you should be able to see the change how very cool how very nice lovely okay and uh, I am required to just make one more rule so let me click on the uh, new CSS uh, rule button now this rule I would want to target uh, menu ul li a colon power right so basically all the anchor tags uh, yep all the anchor tags it's the the contextual selectors of compound guys getting saved in my menu css.css external style sheet let me say okay and uh, let me go to the background color and rather let me choose a font color a different font color this time how about uh, how about how about this one okay that's pound sign uh, zero ff and uh, let me come, come with the live view let me go in again and let's see how things look like ra right now absolutely wonderful guys absolutely wonderful okay and there's one last change that I need to make and that's pretty 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 easy what I need to do is let me expand this area up and then whatever is inside the div the ID for which is the menu I'm gonna copy that so lines 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 23 24 25 up to line number 25 let me say control C okay then hit enter twice control V to paste it hit enter twice paste it again and hit enter twice paste it again hit enter twice okay to create some space let me click the refresh button and guys see what has happened out here okay let me show you a preview that will give you a much better idea in Google Chrome after saving the changes <clears throat> there you go guys not only is the menu centered okay uh, you can see the nice hover absolutely wonderful now guys uh, there's one more thing that you need to change you need to change the name of the links you need to change uh, uh, maybe this home to and about this to uh, contact us or whatever so that's quite easily possible all you need to know uh, you know do is let's say mm, for example that uh, out here we see home okay and uh, I can go out here line number 41 and say about out here see the change so this has actually changed to about okay let's say line number 28 uh, portfolio or whatever and uh, something like uh, link one maybe a link two out here uh, a link uh, three out here okay and a link four out here so it's, it's pretty easy guys let's see the changes that have taken place okay uh, just coming up now so that's a home that's a portfolio that's about and this uh, might be contact whatever okay see link one link two link three link four that's quite easily possible going into the code area and making the necessary changes also guys out here I've just used a pound sign temporarily but this should uh, ideally be replaced by an actual link something like uh, an HTTP colon forward slash forward slash uh, quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads whatever an actual link okay so um, that's something that I'm sure you can do yourself pretty pretty easy okay so guys I hope you uh, actually like this tutorial okay and uh, tell me how you found it and I'll see you very soon with yet another dream viewer tutorial guys or it will be flash with action 3 I'll see you very soon bye bye peace